everyone, so today I'm going to film a huge haul video for you guys. I know I have not made any beauty or like any makeup related um, videos, so here's finally something related to girl stuff because I feel like all I've been doing has been like blogging or like, not blogging, vlogging and just doing whatever crap. But um, basically today I'm going to do a haul video for like, the past things I've grabbed in the past month or so. So let's get started because it's a lot, so... Um, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. And as you can see, the quality of this is going to be very bad because um, it's night right now. It's like 8.55 p.m. where I live. So I'm sorry for the quality, but I had to get this to you guys out as soon as possible because I don't have any other time to film this. Okay, so um, for my one-month anniversary with Sean, uh, he got me a few things. Um, one thing he got me that's not with me right now, but it's at work, it's basically a pen that says my name on it. And on the front here, it says Jennifer, an attractive and considerate person. You can't really see that. Really? Kind of. I don't know. But the pen was in here. This is just the packaging for it. But he gave me a pen. And also, he gave me this Hello Kitty, this small Hello Kitty keychain. I attached it to my coach purse, my um, beige and pink one. So there's a Hello Kitty because he, um, my nickname is Hello Kitty for him. So <laughs> there's that. It's really cute. I haven't named it yet, but... She's really cute. She's plaid and pink and cute. Um, sorry, I just kissed it. And he's about to give me another thing. So we picked this up together. We go, went to Vaughn Mills and uh, we went to the Designer Depot because I wanted to get a dress. So I wanted to find a dress that was work appropriate and um, wedding appropriate or like you want to go to parties. So here's the dress. Let me just take out the strap so you don't get confused of what it looks like exactly. But um, obviously these are the thing hanging things. But they're black straps like this. And it's a dress that looks like that. I'm not sure if you can see the detailing. Here's the detailing. And it goes up like this, and it's like that. Hope you can see that. I zoomed, I didn't really zoom up, but I kind of moved back my camera so you can kind of see what everything looks like. But that's what it looks like. It goes um, just right above my knee, and it, it's perfect. Like the inside here, um, it's padded so you don't have to wear a bra with it. So when I wear this, I don't wear a bra because this thing's already padded, so it's perfect. And it makes my butt look good, so I love it. Um, and this thing, um, even though I picked it out, um, I saw the price. So this thing cost $60. Right there. You can see everything. So he got me those three things for our one month um, anniversary. Um, and then, what else? We went to the Harry Potter exhibit at the um, Ontario Science Center, and this is what I got from the gift shop. I got this bookmark. It costs ten dollars. Basically, it has a film strip from the actual movie, and you can't really see it in here. But um, basically, it's a frame of Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire, um, and it just has Hermione and S I believe that's not Cedric. That's Victor Crumb, and then there's Ron, Harry, and then at the bottom is Dumbledore doing. I don't know what he's doing. But that's just a bookmark I got because I really like the free frame that you get with the bookmark. This, that's why I got it. I wanted something that I would actually use because a lot of stuff in there, like, I'm not going to actually use it. So I want to actually buy something that I'll actually use because why would you buy it and just, like, leave it there, right? And I bought three chocolate frogs. I'm really sad. Like, this thing tastes really good, but I'm really sad that it didn't come in the original packaging because the chocolate frogs are supposed to come in, like, a pentagon kind of shape thing. It's supposed to open like that. But, yeah, this thing, this, it tastes good, but I wish the packaging was different because, honestly, I just don't want the chocolate frog to eat it. I want the actual packaging because it's, like, you're part of the movie. Because it's not really part of the movie. The only thing you have is just a chocolate frog. But, basically, it's chocolate, milk chocolate frog with crisp rice, so it's kind of like a, it's not crispy crunch. Crunch? Crispy Crunch? No, it's called Crunch. I don't know what that chocolate bar is called, but it's like blue packaging and it has red lettering. I think it's called Crunch, but it has like Rice Krispies in it and um, chocolate surrounding it. I don't know what it's called, I forgot. And I also got a keychain. This thing was, sorry, this thing was $10. This thing was $3.99, which is a total ripoff, but whatever. Um, I got a keychain and this com it's completely made out of metal. Um, this is actually pretty heavy, so it says Harry Potter, the exhibition on it. And I thought that was cool, because I want something to prove that I actually did go to the exhibition, so you can only get it there. And this was the last keychain that I saw. And the exhibition is until August 22nd. They come with that, so. And that's what it looks like. 
right there. This is the whole entire keychain, so that's why I attach it to it. Okay, my next item, let me just move everything to the side so I know what I hauled and what I didn't haul, because there's a lot. I can just move this to the side, distracting. There you go. <laughs> okay, um, I went to Costa Blanca with my brother, I believe it was Friday, because I just went to the mall and go shopping, because I needed stuff, so... Since I'm super, super picky with, like, everything, especially with clothes, I'm really cheap with clothes, honestly, you guys. Like, I want everything to be under $20. I would not pay more than $20 for something, depending on what it is. But, um, I got these flats. They're really pretty. Like, they're super glittery. Like, they're silver flats. They're, like, you can see how glittery it is. Like, look at it. But there's these silver flats from Costa Blanca. I got them for $26. And let me show you the detailing here. It's just a cute bow. It has some studs on here. And um, it has a curl on the back, so it goes up like this. It goes up like that. And that's what the back detailing looks like. It has like, this thing like that. And it's really comfortable. It doesn't have that, um, uh, what is it called? It's not blistering feeling. It doesn't create um, blisters on the back of your foot because it's really soft, so that's good. And also, the fact that it curls is so it stays on your feet a little bit easier. And these are actually really comfortable to work with. So I've worn these to work like already once, so I really like it. And you can see the, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's like elastic detail all around. So, that's really cute. $26, Costa Blanca. Get them, if you can. Okay. Next item, I actually got today at the mall. Um, I got two pairs of sunglasses because my sunglasses, the nose piece for it, like this part of it, like you see these things, it completely came off. So I'm just like, I'm sick and tired of replacing it. Like I replaced it once and I don't want to replace it again. So I got two new sunglasses. Um, these ones are supposed to resemble, um, they say New York. Like I got these at a stand called a NYS, collect NYS Collection. So I'm not even sure what that means, but basically they make knockoffs of like, cheaper version, they make knockoffs of like really expensive brands and this one they copied New York and I have no idea what that is but um these are what they look like so I like these because I don't like women's sunglasses I like men's sunglasses because the way women's sunglasses are shaped they don't really look right on my skin not look right on my skin they don't look right for my face so I wear men's sunglasses because they kind of give the look that I want to come off at so these are the glasses. This is number one. It was two for 30. So these are pair number one, and these are the ones I'm going to wear like every single day now. So I'm just put them back in my glasses case because I never want to damage these. And then another pair that I got, um, they're inspired by Ray-Ban. So I'm not even sure what the model is, but um, let me model these on for you guys. Whoa, that's weird. Anyways, here's what they look like. They look like that. They're kind of really dark right now. Why is this so wide? This is weird. This doesn't look like the right one. Anyways, um, this is what they look like. They're really loose. That's not good. I don't have to bring this back to the lady because I have no idea. They're too big. Anyways, I just bought these today so hopefully I can go and return it because... It, not get return it, sorry. Exchange it because this is not right. Okay, let me just close this. Woo. So I got sunglasses, sunglasses. Okay. And then I did a haul. I bought some stuff online at Forever 21. So here's what I got. I got these bow bobby pins for $1.50 each. So these ones are silver ones. They don't really come off silver, but they're silver satin ones. So that one, I also got them in ivory. They came in these bags. So I just put these together. Um, and then I also got... Ooh. a fleece jacket, a fall jacket, but the only issue with this thing is, okay, this thing was originally $35.80, but I got it for $10, but um, I'm not feeling bad that I this thing doesn't fit, because I only spent $10 on it, and I got free shipping, because I spent over $40. They have a special code right now, it's called, I forgot what it's called, but check on the Forever 20 Canada website, and then you can see the code. But um, this jacket is so cute, I'm not sure if you can see the detailing at all, no you can't, because it's completely black. But basically, it's like a pea coat kind of jacket kind of thing. And my issue with it is because I got really broad shoulders. So when I do this with the jacket, it's too tight. Like, I'm, like, restricted. 
and like I, when I raise my arms, I think I don't think I can raise my arms. I don't know, but it's too small for me, so I can still wear it, but I can't make certain arm movements. But that's okay. I'll restrict myself to wear this jacket because I'm not gonna waste my ten dollars. I'm not gonna return it because this is final sale. Okay, next item I bought from Forever Twenty One is um, this top. It's a tank top. It's just a black tank top, a ribbed tank top, and it has this cute like. Um, pleather kind of like little square pocket here you can't see it because but it has this like really nice detail you can't really see that because it's dark let me angle it a bit but um it has this like t-bone thing design on the back so it has these jewels and this top was i believe it was ten dollars as well i want to say it was like ten to fourteen dollars and it's also final sale and i tried it on it's like really nice so it's called um forever 21 twist because it looks military in the front, but girly in the back, so there's a twist. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so cheesy. Anyways, um, then I got this top. I, th I believe this top was also $10. And it's actually a really long, it's like a tunic almost. But this is what the front looks like. It's very roughly. It actually looks really cute. When I put it on, I'm like, I look like an astronaut. I don't know why I thought I looked like an astronaut, but I love ruffles because ruffles are so in this season. Like, if you go Forever 21 and walk inside there, all you see is ruffles. Almost every single store has something with ruffles on it. So, here's the front of it. And this is the back. The back is so cute. It has little glass buttons. No, they're actually glass, but, you know, the plastic clear buttons. So, I thought that was really cute. So, this is what it looks like. And what you wear with this, you'd wear leggings. Because if you didn't wear leggings with this, you can wear pantyhose if you wanted to. But to me, if you wear pantyhose, it may actually, to me, it will look slutty. Because if you bend over, you can see everything. Because this literally just ends right below my butt. So I would wear this with leggings, okay? Just normal leggings, not tights, like leggings, okay? Make sure you're, you wear leggings. Because that's just my opinion. You can do whatever you want with it, but I would wear leggings. And the last thing I got from Forever 21, I believe the last thing, yes it is, it's this faux denim skirt. So it's kind of like a bandage kind of skirt, but not exactly. But you can't really see it because, you know, it's pitch black. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish my lighting was better. But um, it has an elastic band, and it has four, like, bands of, like, faux denim, okay? And this thing was uh, $14, I believe. Fourteen fifty. It was fourteen fifty. I paid. I think I paid full price for this yesterday. I don't care. It's fourteen fifty. It's okay. And it actually, it fits really nice. You can either like wear it high up on your waist, and it ends like right below the butt, or you can wear it like a little bit more down on the waist, and it can actually look like a pencil skirt. So it'd be work appropriate. It's very fitting. Um, you'd wear this with like I don't know what you'd wear this with. Like a tank top. I tried wearing this and tucking this in with the skirt. It looked really nice, but like since this thing is so tight, it actually like hugs every curve. So make sure if you're wearing special underwear with this, you wear like a thong or something that um, hides panty lines because you do not want visible panty line. That is the ugliest thing ever. Um, I forgot to mention that I got these, but at the same time when I went to the mall and got these um, flats, I went to Old Navy and got um, two plain tank tops because Old Navy is awesome for basics. If you need basics, go to Old Navy to get them. They're like super cheap. Um, basically, this is a black tank top, just a regular black tank top. I got it for eight dollars, and I got a gray one. I don't know why I'm like obsessed with gray too now, but another gray tank top, and that was also eight dollars. If you buy one, it's like for nine something, but if you buy two, it's like for eight something. So I'm like, might as well buy two because I need a new black tank top. So let me see if that's my haul. It got everything. Yes, that is my entire haul. Hopefully, you guys really enjoyed it. Um, you'll see me wear some of these outfits maybe in the future. Hopefully, well, I bought them for a reason, right? But um, yeah, my favorite. This I already worn um, this dress to work. So let me show you the dress. I already wore this dress to work, and I got a lot of compliments on it. They said, oh, my God, you look, so, you look like you're dressing up. I'm like, no, it's not. Because to make this work appropriate, because right now it might look like a party dress or a clubbing dress or whatever, you just wear a cardigan over it and cover it up because you don't want to show too much skin at work. So I wear a cardigan over it and just like wear your regular work shoes, and you're good to go. Like, it's totally work appropriate. Especially look at the material. You can kind of see it's kind of like gray and like neutral so it's perfect work it doesn't like show up like wow in your face kind of thing so yeah that is my haul um i'll see you guys later bye